What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about the directorial debut of Dev Patel and that film is called Monkey Man. Directed by Dev Patel, who wrote this film alongside John Colley and Paul Angunawela, this film is produced by Jordan Peele and stars people like Dev Patel, as well as Sharto Copley, Pito Bash, Vipin Sharma, and more. So when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I think like most people, we thought Indian John Wick. And there's even a John Wick joke in this movie, so it definitely is leaning into that. And I started to see some of the early thoughts on this film start to trickle out from some of my peers who were actually at South by Southwest where they premiered this, as well as just from other critics online. And for the most part, it seemed like word of mouth for this movie was gonna be really good, saying that it was an incredibly strong directorial debut for Dev Patel. Dev Patel's an actor I've always enjoyed, going all the way back to Slumdog Millionaire, so knowing that he was able to write and direct and star in his own film, I was really excited. And something about the trailer outside of seeming very much like John Wick also seemed really cool and very unique to what it was. It definitely had its own unique energy to it. And what I can say about this film after having seen it now at a press screening mixed with the public, getting to see everybody's reactions to the movie, is that it is action-packed, is visually stunning, has fantastic performances and most importantly has its own identity in a world where we get so many action films that feel like a dime a dozen there's so many that don't really necessarily reinvent the wheel and feel just like another action movie it's nice to see a movie like this with a director with a fresh vision that's able to take a style that's more familiar these days with something like the John Wick films in terms of this very fast-paced very crazy action and give us something that has its own identity because for whatever shortcomings this film had for me whatever negatives I personally have about the film, I'm really happy to say that the film had its own identity and it's something that's easily one of the most memorable films that I've seen this year. And I'll also continue on on that note by saying that after having seen the film, I rated it on Letterboxd a three and a half star. Now, I never do ratings here on the channel because I consistently will go back as a movie sits with me and change a score on a movie. I don't really think scores are something that should ever be super definitive. I think there's something that should always be flexible. And so in the case of this movie, I already know I want to rewatch this movie and give it another opinion because I, I do feel this is a movie that will grow on me over time. What I can say, though, without a doubt, though, is that it is an incredibly well-made film, as I just mentioned, with visually stunning cinematography and lighting, great performances with Dev Patel right at the center giving us an incredibly grounded and gritty performance, top-notch action that has great choreography that's gory, fun to watch, and made the audience have tons of audible moments of reactions throughout the course of the movie, and a narrative that I think for the most part, while it was a little lackluster in areas for me, does ring true and leans into a solid vengeance tale, which I think most people can get behind. The base premise of this film, without getting too far into it, is Dev Patel plays a character who at the very beginning of the movie is living in this underground world, so to speak. He's trying to make as much cash as he can, whatever he can. He's able to do these different underground fights, he's working at a restaurant, but we start to learn that he has a specific agenda because of somebody who wronged him and most notably killed his mother when he was a young boy. He's been doing everything he possibly can to harness his strength, to be able to gain more and more skills, and to kind of get with in the cracks and get to know different people in order for him to get closer to this one individual who he needs to take out in order for him to succeed in taking his vengeance. And that's the base premise without getting too far into spoilers. There's a whole other element to this film that starts to get a little bit more abstract and spiritual and I won't get too deep into that because I want people to be able to experience this for themselves. But what I can say as far as this being a straightforward vengeance tale, a nice revenge story, I genuinely think it does really succeed in that area. I think that for the most part, Dev Patel's character is the one that you're going to root for the most, of course, because he is Monkey Man. He is the main character. There's some great visuals in this film when it comes down to his character and the fact that he wears a monkey mask in portions of the film. It's both goofy, but also really cool in other moments. And he just really commits to the action and the entirety of this character when it comes down to believing the pain that he's carrying and the fact that he needs to kind of go through with his revenge. Now, the where I struggled with this movie, though, even though I had all those positives to say, was in its narrative. The movie's narrative structure isn't really 
leaning into the idea of giving you all the information right out of the gate and setting up the story. Instead, we start off with our character already amidst his preparations for what he's been trying to do, and it's through flashbacks throughout the course of the film that we start to get more of that story told to us to really understand what's at stake for our character here. And so on one hand, I can already tell that's going to turn some people off as you might get 30, 40 minutes into the movie and not fully feel like you understand the motivations of our characters in this movie. But on another hand, I feel like by the time you get to the end and you see the full picture, there is definitely a part of this movie that ultimately allows you to, you know, kind of just slowly unravel the character, slowly unravel what's made him who he is. And on that hand, I, I thought it was genuinely really unique and I really enjoyed their narrative structure. However, you do have a nice amount of characters in here. Some are smaller comedic characters, some are some more integral characters to Dev Patel's character's journey. And I ultimately felt that the biggest gripe I had with this film is that it does at times lean too far into being abstract and also felt like there was not as much character development as I would have liked. Now, I will say that this is a film that is beautifully made in so many ways when it comes down to the technicalities. So I think Dev Patel nailed it here when it comes down to this being a directorial debut. I mean, if this is what he's starting with, the dude is going to do incredible things moving forward as a director. I mean, the cinematography, the action and the lighting without a doubt are just the worth the price of admission. But walking out of the theater, I saw a bunch of mixed reactions. There were some people who were like, I didn't like it at all. It was not for me whatsoever. And some other people saying they really loved it. And I saw some people in the mix saying, you know, I, I liked the action, but I wasn't crazy about the story. And some of my peers who have already reviewed this film on Letterboxd, who got to see it at South by Southwest, have said incredible things about the film, and some of them giving it four and a half to five stars, with others giving it as low as three stars. So you can already tell this is gonna be a divisive film, and where I think it's really gonna divide people is in its story, is in that narrative structure, and is in that character development, because while I was incredibly engaged and excited to see where it was gonna go, and always excited by all the action and filmmaking at hand, I did struggle with the fact that we never really fully get to know all the characters involved in this narrative and there are so many side characters that feel like they're supposed to be more important by the time we get to the end that ultimately just felt like a character you saw a couple of times that didn't really have a lot of meat on the bone. But that's just my opinion on Monkey Man, and I look forward to hearing all the various opinions. And despite any of those negatives I have, I think it's a movie that's so well made, especially for a directorial debut of an actor I love so much. I highly recommend this film. I think it's a movie that I would tell any cinephile to go and check out. And if you don't love it, then that's okay. And if you end up loving it, I can't be surprised. It's a movie that I can understand either way, which way people will lean. I can totally get each outlook on the film. It's not a movie that's made for everybody. It's not something that I think is going to be a crowd pleaser across the board but what is a crowd pleaser in this film is the action so if you're going into this for the action and you just want a good revenge tale then i think there's going to be a lot of enjoyment to be had but again i do think that the story is held back a little bit by some of its simplicity and lack of character depth so a big thanks to you guys for watching leave your thoughts down below are you planning on checking out monkey man is this a movie that's been on your radar not on your radar whatever the case may be leave any and all comments down below and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one Bye bye